growing up was difficult because financially we were not stable. My dad left us when we were really young, so my mom brought us up single-handedly. You just have this feeling of um, insecurities because it's unstable. You won't know when you have likes, when you don't have. My mom just uh, have to borrow money and pay off the electricity bills, and then it, it comes back. <laughs> yeah. There was this feeling of being threatened all the time. Being kids, um, having domestic violence is definitely uh, frightening to see, la, especially when your parents uh, fought. And then um, I just kind of had this mindset that um, good things will eventually come, um, difficult times will go. Just tell yourself, you will get there, this shall pass too. Yeah. It's actually not my kind of dream job but um, I was encouraged by my brother. He told me that it was a stable job, so it could help people with your job. Yeah, I was encouraged by the fact that, yeah, I could help people. So, a uh, second year of my nursing, uh, I started having some symptoms like chest discomfort, um, tingling sensation on my arms and uh, my limbs. La. So, after much investigation, then uh, the doctor told me that I had a hole in my heart. And then um, the thing is that the hole is relatively big that I have to um, undergo a, a open heart surgery. Um, it was something, it was a major event to me. There were times I also felt kind of like depressed because I mean I already had a childhood like that. It seems that this uh, heart surgery is also it's a challenge to me. Long. How come it, you know, it comes to me again? How come I have to go through difficult times and all that? I got well, I got, I got back to work. I felt like I was able to see things or understand things um, at the perspective of a patient. Sometimes the presence of just a nurse or be it a healthcare worker does help. Um, there are times that I would think that I had a bad day today or some patient is uh, being demanding or, or I'm not meeting up their expectation. It couldn't be they are just unreasonable or demanding. There must be a reason why they behave like that. Because everybody's expectations towards um, their healthcare needs is different. So if you are able to understand the background, their dynamic, family dynamic, all this, and then uh, you'll be able to give a better care. Right now, um, I'm also planning to start a, a free mobile clinic la, for elderly cardboard collectors uh, to provide free healthcare screening. I feel that they are kind of being neglected by the society also. Yeah, I felt like I could contribute to them la, by doing so, even it's a small expense. Yeah, as long as uh, we are contributing something rather than rather than none.